Blessings everyone, this is Jewel Diamond Taylor. You know, I live in the Southern California area, which means there are always something to do. It's a saturation of events and activities and places to go and people to see. And a lot of times I miss these events because of a conflict or because I'm out of town or it's too far. But what I'm recognizing is that most of these events that I'm hearing about are being produced by women that I know, sister friends that I know that are doing incredible things. It, you know, it's amazing when you are around people in your industry that are passionate, have found their purpose, they operate in excellence, uh, they bring great people together. Uh, it's contagious because it inspires you. We're not about competing with one another. It's about collaboration and celebrating each other because all of us have our own unique brand and own unique way of doing things. And so I just want to give a shout out to many of these sister friends that I know that are doing great things. Uh, some of these events I've had to miss. Some of them I've been invited to speak. And some of them I just like to go and just be in the atmosphere and enjoy the vendors and the speakers and the networking. I want to give a shout out to Emertha Jones, who had her annual uh, Wonderland activity. It was called Extraordinary Journey Awards Luncheon. And I was so honored to be one of the honorees. Great job, Emertha. Congratulations. It was such a beautiful setting, and I met a lot of people. I want to give a shout out to Natalyn Randall. I wasn't able to go to her Black Business Women Who Rock. I was a part of it last year, but this year it was a conflict, so I couldn't make it. But I know it was phenomenal. I've heard great things about it, and I want to say congratulations, Natlin, on another phenomenal experience and event. Great vendors, great speakers. You go, girl. I want to give a shout out to my longtime friend, Barbara Lindsay, who hosts every year this time her holiday magic. Again, a rich environment of vendors and neighbors and friends and business opportunities. It's just a great, fun activity. I couldn't make it again this year, but I heard great things. I know it's phenomenal. And I want to say, Barbara, you are an inspiration to so many of us. I want to give a shout out to Darlene Burke. Darlene Burke is a part of my tribe and her passion, her purpose is to be an advocate and a voice for men that have been incarcerated and they want to mainstream back into life and they want to renew and they want to have strong families and strong connections. They want to get a job. Uh, they want to uh, empower their relationships. And so she is a great advocate for them and she's doing great things. She has week, uh, annual events and she has monthly events and she's doing great things, uh, creating policies, meeting dynamic people and legislation. She's really digging in with all 10 toes and making things happen. So congratulations, Darlene. We're so proud of you. I want to give a shout out to my goddaughter, Toy Arnold, and her BFF, Teresa. Uh, they have a beautiful business called TNT Designs. They create beautiful tops, and they create them for me too. But they are having um, also in this season a wonderful bazaar and fashion show. And I just want to give you guys a shout out. It's just magnificent what you're doing. I'm so proud of you. I love wearing your artwork. Also, I want to give a shout out to Kimberly Williams. She is the founder of the Matriarch Society. I was a guest speaker there last year, but I can't be, again, I can't return in 2017 because I'll be in Tacoma, Washington. But Kimberly Williams uh, is a poster child for single mothers. This is her brand. This is her passion. This is her purpose. She's a motivational speaker and author, and she has an event coming up in Long Beach area in February 2017. I know it's going to be stupendous. Congratulations, Kimberly. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm proud of you. I also want to give a shout out to Shidell Watkins. I was a part of her girlfriend's event in Arizona last year, and it was great. Oh my God, it was just wonderful. She just took it every detail, and she's going to do it again in 2017. So look out for the girlfriend's event hosted by Shidell Watkins. You will definitely enjoy it in Arizona. Also, I want to give a shout out to my sister friend, Tony Malone. Uh, my tribe and I are all going to go and watch her one woman show uh, celebrating love and just love. And it's going to be around the Valentine's time day uh, in February 2017 in Los Angeles. So look out for that posting. It'll be on my website and it'll be on my Facebook page. 
Uh, we love you, Tony, and congratulations. I know it's going to be phenomenal. You have got to hear this woman sing. She'll blow you away. Just bursting with talent. Also, I want to give a shout out to Melanie Cunningham of Tacoma, Washington. I'll be returning um, by her invitation to speak on campus there. Uh, I'm so excited to return in February. Melanie Cunningham is a, an incredible woman. She is, oh, she's so full of ideas and vision and empowerment. She's an activist. She's just awesome. She is also going to be the travel concierge when I go to South Africa in August. Listen, Melanie has been there 18 times, and on her 19th visit in 2017, she's invited me to go along and speak at several locations and enjoy the beautiful motherland in South Africa the first two weeks in August, and you are invited to go with us. Okay, that's going to be in South Africa. We're going to Johannesburg and Cape Town and George. And so I'm telling you, I'm around some fantastic women. They've got ideas. They've got passion. They've got purpose. They make things happen. Also, Brenda McKnight from the Northern California area. She is the founder of Ladies in Red. She, too, takes her group of women on different events across the nation. They go to plays. They go to Vegas. And she's having an event in 2017. And I have been invited to return to speak for Ladies in Red. So stay tuned for information about that. I also want to thank the arts ensemble called Tabia. This is a group of women who are talented. They're singers and drummers, and they do spoken word, and they have a fun activity every year. And I'm invited to return for the fourth time in San Jose in March 2017. So you want to come out and join us for that. It's, it's a lot of fun. Great networking, great vendors, and a great speaker, yours truly. So I want to give a shout out again to Umurtha and Matlin and Barbara Lindsay and Darlene Burke and Kimberly Williams and Toy and Teresa and Shidel Watkins and Melanie Cunningham, Tony Malone, Brenda McKnight and the Tabia Ensemble. Listen, I am having my 31st annual Super Gold Saturday. This is one of my signature events that I've been hosting, I can't believe it, for 31 years. Wow consecutively. I've never missed a year. This is how I celebrate my birthday. But I'm so excited um, to do it again January the 28th. We're going to be on the campus of California State University of Los Angeles. We'll be in the Student Union. Uh, the first part of the day, you have two choices. You can be in our champion's room, bring your scissors, your glue, your magazines, and work on your vision board. Or we have another room that will be hosted by my sister, Joy Lewis, She's the founder of the 411 Cafe Networking Organization. So you can come in that room and meet everyone that's a part of our organization, meet the entrepreneurs, meet those that are putting on events. Uh, you may want to be a part of her organization. You may want to just be in the room to find out what's happening. You may want to be in the room because you want to be an entrepreneur or you want to put on an event. Well, come on out and find out who is a part of the 411 Cafe Networking. That is going to take place from 10 until noon. And next door will be the Champions Room from 10 until noon, creating your vision board. Then we'll break for lunch, and then we will have the main auditorium where I'll be speaking along with my special guest, my own pastor, Sam Casey, the senior pastor and founder of New Life Christian Church in Fontana, California, and the Mayor Pro Tem from the city of Carson, Lula Davis Holmes. I look forward to seeing you. Men, women, and families come to this every year. We wear our sports jerseys and it is lots of fun. It's like a party, but it's the perfect way to kick off the new year so that you kick it off with focus, with faith, with family, with a game plan, so that you're energized, so that you can get into the end zone in 2017. So save the date. January the 28th, 2017. Be sure to visit my website to get all the details and register. Because this is my 31st year, the first 31 that register, your name will go into a drawing so that you could possibly be the winner of a $200 registration ticket to attend my next Women on the Grow retreat in Malibu, California. One of you that registers the first 31 has a chance to win it, a 200 value package to go to my next women's retreat in Malibu in 2017. 
okay? So hurry up and register. God bless you and stay in the light.